Hey, my radio friends, welcome back to this radio video. Today, I am going to do a radio antenna project. And um, we're going to build a AM loop antenna for medium wave. And we're going to do it with a cardboard box. And um, this, is, this is kind of a, a great starter project. You don't really have to... Uh, have a whole lot of theory under your belt to uh, to accomplish something like this and I'm going to attempt to do this without any math at all uh, there are ways to you know to kind of do the calculations and do it just so but I'm, I'm basically going to wing it because I've made a few of these over the years um, and so uh, the first thing you need is uh, some sort of box this is this is uh, uh, one foot square actually I, I fabricated this box from an old computer laptop box and uh, just made it it's roughly a foot square I'm not sure if it's exactly square but it's close enough um, and uh, you need some wire so I have uh, this in fact, I have several spools of this enameled uh, uh, kind of wire enameled wire um, I'm not even sure what gauge this is but um, it's easy to find you don't need enameled wire you could use just about any thin gauge um, wire will probably do um, but you're going to need a good bit of it because I'm guessing that I probably need at least 14 or 15 loops around a box this size that's what I'm going to shoot for anyway and space them uh, roughly over a four inch uh, width of this of this box um, so that's uh, four feet per loop so we're talking around 60 feet of wire so you're going to need a, a fair bit. Um, and uh, I do have the advantage of having a spare uh, uh, variable capacitor, which is going to be the tuning for this thing. Now I'm going to use the one I have to kind of get me started, but uh, I'm already planning ahead to the next video where I'm going to attempt to make one uh, out of just ordinary stuff around the house. So that's part two. We'll see if I get there. Um, I also may use one from a, an old radio which I pulled apart so I have a couple of those as well but this one I know is going to work so I'm going to build a loop first today and then we'll worry about the capacitor uh, a little bit later so let's get started on uh, this uh, winding this loop and um, we'll see if we can get this thing working Okay, well it would have been helpful if I had uh, aimed the camera right appropriately, but uh, I hope you got the gist of that time lapse. Uh, I can't see what I was what I was filming. I didn't set it up right, but anyway, you get the idea. So I wrapped um, I wrapped the wire around the box here, and uh, gosh, this I'm going to show you how imprecise I am about this. Uh, four, eight, I think that's. 13 or 14 loops on there. I think I wanted to go one more, but I kind of ran out of room and, you know, sometimes I just get a little quick with things. Um, and so uh, the idea around uh, kind of a box loop like this is you can um, you can really lock in the wires. Sometimes uh, you'll see loops that are made with, um, you know, just two crossing things and you run the wire around which is which is fine but I've always found that uh, you leave that that strand of wires exposed and they get banged and they get bumped and, and they get bent and stretched and everything uh, this way you can lock them down with some tape and at the end I'm gonna I don't think I have enough packing tape this is just regular scotch shipping tape I'm gonna wrap the whole thing so it's nice and tight and, and uh, well put together so anyway, that's about uh, 14 strands of enamel wire. And so 
Uh, unfortunately, as I always do, do something wrong. I always do something wrong with these things. So I made that lead really short. This one is not so bad. Um, but I'm going to connect these to my um, capacitor, and we're going to do a real simple test here in uh, in the radio room, and uh, see if this thing works. Okay, it's time for a really crude test. I've got my uh, my Channel Master Super Fringe radio out, just tuned to some blank spot on the AM dial, and uh, I'm down here in my basement, so I'm not uh, expecting to pick up too much. But I've got the loop antenna here, which is hooked up to my little tuning capacitor, which is right back here. And um, really, I just want to do a preliminary test and see if something happens um, when I tune the capacitor. So let's see what happens, if anything. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's nothing coming in. Hey, it works. It works. Pretty cool. And um, if I constructed this a little more carefully, now that we have it tuned, we can uh, aim it around wherever we need it. And here I'll just disconnect just so you can see the difference, or hear the difference. I'll move this capacitor here so you can see what I'm doing. I just have it hooked up to an alligator clip. And tune it. Nothing happening. Put it back in. And that's pretty good. So, this, um, let's see if it works on a different, different, exp uh, different frequency. What the heck am I trying to say? Let's see if there's something coming in there. Definitely making a difference. I'll take it off. You can see what a difference it makes. Okay. So, just a rough um, sense of this thing. I, I did this again without any any math. Um, uh, I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, let's see, 4, 8, 12, looks like I got 13 or 14 uh, loops. Um, I think I probably needed another loop because I'm not sure it goes all the way down to the bottom of the band. But I'll see, let's see if it goes up to the top of the band. Dial up here to... Let's see. That's a strong station. Let me see if I can peak the noise. Yeah, see, you hear it peak. Here's what to do. I can hear it peak, but there's nothing coming in. Yeah. It's definitely working up there at the top. Right. So, there you go. That's uh, a very easy to make loop antenna, piece of cardboard, some wire, um, variable, variable capacitor. I'm going to do some experiments with this and see if I can uh, get this to work with some things that I pulled out of old radios. 
um, that will make this really easy to do because you probably have an old radio lying around that you don't use anymore and you can yank the capacitor out of it and see if you can get that to work. Uh, I'm also going to experiment with maybe building my own so you don't have to rely on something like this. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, again, I don't have any plans for it. You can just follow along uh, a square box, some wire, um, and um, get started on that project. So I will uh, consider some pertinent information and, and put that below, uh, including, I believe, a place where you can order one of these capacitors. Um, uh, so you don't, if you don't want to make your own, you can buy one and stick it in there, and it should work great. Anyway, AM Loop Antenna. It's a great first project. So that's a bit about it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.